everybody so I am back with another beautiful baby of mine um, this baby is special for several different reasons and I will get into all of those reasons in just a moment you guys um, but first let me get her clothes out of what she's gonna wear today y'all it's really really nice here in Georgia So I decided that I wanted to do some old school koala baby. <laughs> I don't want to call it vintage, but um, I've had this from a thrift store for a while now. And I did get this in mind for Kasiri. And so I want to put it on her today. It is this uh, yellow bumble rom bubble romper, excuse me. And um, y'all, it has been creased up here for the longest. I tried to iron that. And it just is not coming out. So I guess the way it was folded, it is just that way. But if you look, it has these delicate little flowers on it um, design. And then um, the bodice part has stitched flowers on it. It's really cute. And it buttons up in the back. And this is what we're going to put on her today because it is 80 degrees outside. And I'm ready to see some nice spring fashions. And I also have a haul for you guys. So we're going to do the haul after we get this lovely baby dressed. Not prepared, like always. <laughs> I need to find her a, um, a diaper to put on and um, a, um, a headband. So yeah, I'm not prepared, you guys. My apologies. But I'm trying to get this stuff really quick, so bear with me. And this baby is um, very special to me um, for a few reasons. And we're going to get into those reasons in just a moment, y'all. Give me a moment. Let's see. I'm trying to grab my caddy now. So I make sure that I have everything I need. Okay, so she's been in this outfit for quite some time, y'all, too. So it is time to get baby girl out of this because it is now time for warm weather, mama. And oh, oh my goodness, I forgot. <laughs> she also had a hair head bow on, too, as well. All this beautiful hair. I love um the way her artist rooted her. So the three reasons on why Kasiri is a very special baby. The first reason that Kasiri is a very special baby is because she is a Cassie Brace baby. And Cassie Brace is one of my favorite uh, sculptors. So that's the first reason why this baby is so special to me. The second reason why Kasiri is so special is because she was painted and rooted by the wonderful um, Sandra Stanley. And um, I think it's Stanley, Sandra Stanley Art, Silicone and Art Dolls now. I can't never get her name right because I'm so used to her nursery being 10 toes, 10 toes in the uh, button nose, but it's not that anymore. Um, she has changed it. Oh, you almost lost your little, um, what is this? Little anklet. It has a K for Kasiri on it, you guys, and a little heart. And I purchased that a few years back for her. But, um, yes, one of my favorite artists, Sandra. She's created, um, three of my babies, including Kasiri. And the third reason why this baby is so special is because she, uh, I adopted her from my sis Penny over at Life Hearted Life and Collectibles. So she was her first mommy. And when I seen her, I fell in love with her. And I told my sis, I said, sis, if you ever decide to sell this baby, I need her in my collection. So here she is now and she's been here for, oh my gosh, I want to say maybe three, three years I've had her. Yeah, I've had her for about three years and she is definitely a forever baby. 
Um, she was painted in the likeness of an Indian baby. And I'm just so in love with her. Oh, where's her necklace? So she has this jade bracelet from her actual artist uh, from Sandra. And then this uh, elephant my daughter had purchased for her because I do call her my little Indian baby. Y'all, her hair is so, so wild right now. But we're going to get her dress and I don't know. I kind of like this diaper on her. I think I'm going to keep this diaper on actually instead of putting her in this floral one. Yeah, we're going to keep that one on. I, I like the way it fits. And for the sake of the video, so I'm not taking up too much of y'all's time, um, we're going to get this on really quick. Like I said, it is old school koala baby. And I just wanted to put her in something warmer. And bubble rompers are so cute. Oh, I love them so much. I do own a, quite a few for the girls. So y'all expect to see some bubble rompers uh, this spring and summer because we have got some. And I actually have a really beautiful one to show you guys today in the haul that we are doing. Oh my goodness, mama. Hold on, you guys. I'm just trying to fix her necklace. Get her all buttoned up in the back. One second. Let's just turn her over really quick. Oh my goodness. And y'all, her hair is so soft. She has a head full of hair. And she also has um, rooted eyebrows. And this is my first and only baby with rooted eyebrows. And I just adore them. I think Sandra did an amazing job on her eyebrows and her hair and she hasn't had any um go baby mohair spray in her hair in a while so we're gonna do that too okay mama oh my goodness so adorable okay so we're gonna y'all know how i do we're gonna set her up just like this Try to make sure she stays in frame. And she's very floppy, y'all. So I might have a little bit of a hard time keeping her to sit up. So I can get this hair done. Let's get this hair together, girl. Because it's been a minute. And y'all, I'm starting to try to get used to doing hair on camera. Because I'm telling you, I really don't really do this. <laughs> And the reason why is because I'm so picky and it takes me such a long time to get their hair the way that I want it. But I'm taking a chance and I have been doing it on quite a few videos now. So I think I'm actually mastering doing their hair without having to take too much of a fuss to get it um, the way that I want it. And I'm just saturating all the hair, y'all. Mo more so in the back than the front because I don't want it to be too wet because then it takes a little bit longer for it to um, to dry. So we're just going to follow this pretty baby's pattern. She has some gorgeous hair, you guys. I love it. And this mohair spray smells so yummy i think when i first purchased it it was a little bit overwhelming but i'm used to it now and i really like it and i love the scent that it leaves behind it's like you don't even have to use honestly i don't have to even use um the um johnson and johnson um baby cologne because that mohair spray gives it gives the baby such a um, a nice fragrance that I don't have to use it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more on this corner right here, and I'm gonna spray it directly on the toothbrush and not in her hair because I don't want it. Like I said, I don't want to oversaturate the front. Okay. And there we go, Mama. Oh, so pretty. 
Okay, so now we need a hair bow. And I'm looking, I'm searching. Let's see. Because I don't know, y'all. This blue is pretty. Do we want to bring out that blue? We'll set that there. That's a maybe for her little dainty head. Or we can do a really ridiculously big bow. Which I love doing those as well. On babies with little heads. I think that that is so cute. Um, we have this. No. I like the color, but I don't know. The lace may be too much. We'll set that one there too. Um, Let's see what else we have. That's a lot. That's cute though, but that's a, that's a lot. Do we want to be extra? Do we want to be extra today? Let's see what else we have. We have so many choices, y'all. I have so many bows for these babies. Mm -hmm. No, white is not it. I was looking for yellow. I thought we had a yellow one. I'm not for sure now. Oh, let's see. I'm not seeing the yellow one, precious. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll pick from those three. And I wish this was live so you guys could give your opinion on which bow. But since it's not, I guess I'm going to pick. I don't know. I kind of like my first decision. Yeah, I think we're going to do this dainty little blue one. You guys. Honestly. Okay, yes. Mommy loves this. Okay, yeah. This is good. I just got to fix that. Fix this really quick. Get up, Mama. I'm gonna fix this hair. Oh, see, I messed it up again. This is exactly why I don't do it on camera, <laughs> y'all, because I'm so picky. Okay, we got it fixed. And then we gotta fix this back here to lay down. There we go. That's better. That's better, pretty. So let's lay you down. Oh my goodness. Y'all, she looks so cute. I love it. I'm very fussy. I'm very fussy when it comes to my babies. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, girl. We got you right, girl. <laughs> she looks adorable. I love it. So, you guys, that is Miss Kasiri. And we are also going to do our haul really quick. It's only a few things, but I wanted to share. I did recently go and get some things for um, Ocean, mainly. But there are a couple of things for the other babies in here or some other babies in here. Hold on. And this is from Once Upon a Child. Um, my new rule is to pare down and to get new stuff. I have to sell stuff. So we have been selling quite a bit lately. And I'm going to show you guys what we just picked up. These are not from once. These are actually from Dollar Tree. And this was the only pack they had. I'm going to go to another Dollar Tree so I can get another set so they match. But I thought these are pretty for spring, aren't they? These are super cute. They're two hair clips. And they just have the um, alligator clip on the back. And I love the checkered white and pink one. But the floral one is also my favorite. That is really, really cute. Really pretty. And I think those are going to be for Ocean. I mean, the other girls can use them too, but I mainly pick them up for Ocean. And then I have two blankets. They're muslin blankets. They are Cat in the Hat. No, I think they're Dr. No, they're Cat in the Hat. Yeah, 
the brand is Cat in the Hat. That's what it says. And the first one is a Cat in the Hat muslin with the Cat in the Hat on it. And it also says Cat in the Hat. Let me just set it over here. And then we also have this Dr. Seuss one. And I think it's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish on there. Super cute. So those are for the babies. And then I have, let's see. Let me just get everything out this bag so we're not rustling through it all. Oh. Then I got these two pairs of shoes and neither one of these will fit ocean so they'll be for the other baby girls um they're old navy the first pair and i don't know what the other pair i don't know it doesn't have a name brand on it but the first pair is um a size two old navy and y'all those are so cute look at the little bows with the red that is super adorable so i thought those were cute and i got these for 250 then we got these little shoes right here. And these are definitely probably going to be, of course, for Kasiri's little feet and also for uh, Raya, my Evelyn. And those are super cute with the bows too. And these are like, uh, what is it? Like jean material, I guess. Denim, cute. Light denim though, with the sling back on the back of it. I love those. And then we have... Um, like I said, a few things were not much, but we're building up that wardrobe. Um, these were the only things that I, I liked there that day. The first thing is a child of mine, six to nine month, uh, three piece outfit. And the colors just really are beach vibes. And this is like through and through her, uh, her theme of how I want her to dress. It does have hearts in it or on it and it is shaped like pineapples which I thought was super cute and the little shirt underneath it has the same um sort of print on it it is like a peachy pink color and this is like a coral but the pineapples are, are a peachy pink and it come with these cute little bloomers so I think she's gonna look super cute in that the next thing is a um Simply Blanks. I guess somebody made this t-shirt and it's really, really adorable. It's like a cream color t-shirt and it says friends in cursive. You guys, and look, it has um, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, and um, Rabbit on there. And they're all babies with um, a rainbow behind them. Isn't that adorable? And I thought she would look super cute in this shirt so we got that then we have this brand new with tags on it six to twelve month um old navy it's like a overall uh romper blue jean with white uh daisies on it and it does have a little pocket in the front is there pockets in the back nope but isn't that cute you guys i think ocean would look super sweet in this um romper it's really really cute and it was a good price too 550 for a brand new old navy set i mean an old navy um and this is really thick you know jean material so that was definitely a steal um, i have this carter's baby six month um romper and this was new with the tag on it as well and the colors are so pretty you guys um, it's that it's like this brown or tan color. It's like dark, and then we have this light blue, white, and this baby pink. It has a ruffle on the chest, and it ruffles down at the bottom. I thought this was super sweet because of the colors. I can just see these colors on her. They'll look go gorgeous on her. So we got that, and the last thing we got was a Maggie and Zoe bubble romper, y'all. This is my favorite find of the day and i cannot wait to she'll be wearing this next month you guys um to our aquarium meetup because that's where we're going next for um my georgia meetup with my friends and our babies so she is going to be wearing this beautiful powder blue eyelet bubble romper it has double layers 
the bottom layer has a floral print on it and it's like a peach or like a light pink color with white and blue flowers so beautiful and then the second ruffle layer is the eyelet lace and the powder blue and then it also has the like trimming on the top of the neck part well not the top but like in the middle of that printed uh floral pa pattern the details of this y'all are so gorgeous look at the buttons in the back those are so pretty in to top it all off y'all it come with this bonnet <laughs> oh my goodness i could just see ocean in this now she is going to look adorable not to mention i also got those new shoes for her guys so um, either pair of those shoes that I purchased, the uh, baby's first steps that I love on her feet are going to go beautiful with this with some pretty socks. So I am excited to see her in this outfit and um, I hope you guys enjoyed our haul for today. I'm going to unpile everything off of this gorgeous beauty so you guys can get another look up at her before we go bye bye. And we hope everybody enjoyed the video today in our haul. And we will talk to you guys later, won't we, Kasiri? Won't we, Mama? Yes, we will. Peach, peace and blessings, you guys.